Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and some more Legions Imperialis. So today we're going to take a look at one of the two main terrain kits that is out there officially from GW as far as the game is concerned. Obviously there's many third-party manufacturers and we'll talk about that a little bit more once we get this opened up, but this is the Civitas Imperialis Ruins. So pretty decent size set. It's the smaller of the two as far as um, the ones that's available. So the other one that we'll take a look at beyond the lookout for our video there is the the big boy box, the administratum sector, that's the, the one with the super hefty price tag, not that this one is cheap by any means, but it does say that it gives us 38 terrain pieces, although I'm sure they're counting like these little bits of scatter as pieces as well, so don't get your hopes up that it's necessarily 38 individual buildings, but anyway, we'll figure this out as we get it open, so we'll be right back for you guys. Alrighty guys, we're back, we got everything open here, so you get four sprues in here, um, two of each, uh, or a uh, copy of each essentially, so... Four total, but two, really two different sprues. Um, something different I haven't seen before. Kind of rounded sprues here from G-dubs. So you get one sort of chunkier sprue. That's a lot of the building walls. So we'll get in here, get that detail. Again, we've seen the terrain before. Basically, it's Titanicus terrain. With some new bits uh, really uh, thrown in here. At least that's what it feels like. I think the Titanicus one was more blocky. I think this has a lot more windows in it, though. But basically, same same concept. You should be able to mix and match, really. If you already have a lot of the old kits from Titanicus, you might even be able to kit bash between the two, which would be an interesting go. It's been a minute since I've seen the Titanicus terrain, so it could be exactly the same. Let us know in the comments if you've got some of both. I think we got rid of all of ours a few years ago when we were kind of getting out of Titanicus for a bit. But in either case, looks good. Getting real close here. Get a lot of shattered windows. Let's get the other side, the inside rather, for the walls. Lots of little scatter elements as well. All right, let's take a look at this one though. This one has a lot of the smaller bits and connecting pieces and the floors as well. So we've seen that. Let's make sure we stay in focus on that. Love some of the scatter elements here too. So kind of like the uh, cargo containers that we see in full-scale 40k, so we got those shrunken down. Some of these would make nice uh, little scenic elements too to some of the larger bases, like the Titan bases, so good thing to sort of get double use of these terrain kits um, for as well, just to stick some things on there. And if you have any like leftover infantry and stuff like that, nice to throw on a Titan base as well. Again, a lot of the little connecting bits for the lower levels or one level type of buildings. So let's take a look at the other side as well. Again, more of the floors. Got some holes in the floors too. You see the, the rebar. So should look pretty cool painted up. Just depends on really how much level of detail you want to get into with the painting. You could obviously go nuts and treat this as full scale terrain too and pick out every last little thing if you so desire. So there you have it guys. It's quite a bit. Um, again, they say I think 38 buildings on the box now. Price point does come in, oops, stay in focus here. Um, price point does come in at, I think, 75 is what we got this for. So um, it is fairly hefty uh, as far as price tag goes and weight. Um, it does weigh a good chunk because of all the plastic. But um, yeah, is it, is it worth buying? It just depends, I guess, on what your budget is and like how much you know official um, quote unquote GW train you want versus third party manufacturers. Obviously, if you have a 3D printer, you can kind of control the cost of things yourself assuming you get all your STLs and stuff like that. 
or if you're coming up with uh, things on your own. Uh, certainly a lot of the MDF options are cheaper um, and you get um, still some really good looking things. Um, that being said, you know, you have to, I guess, be satisfied with MDF terrain. Not that there's anything against it, but some people do prefer like plastic or resin terrain versus, um, or even foam terrain versus MDF. Um, but overall, I think um, MDF is definitely a great way to go to um, certainly economical and you get some other neat designs and really for about the same cost you could probably have uh, depending on who you go with manufacturing wise uh, we'll just use TT combat as kind of the golden example because they do already have an existing range you know for the same cost you can probably easily get twice as much terrain if not even three times just depending on what you're picking up and especially around holiday times they usually have some some really great bundles as well I think they were even launching a whole bunch of new stuff to kind of coincide with the release of Legions Imperialis. So you have that as an option. So I would say probably, you know, it's, it's certainly worth, I think, just picking up one just to have it. And again, um, the neat idea here, too, is you can take some of the extra, like, scatter bits and use them to kind of dress up some of the bases on the larger um, things. Like, again, Titans easily come to mind just to make those you know, scenic bases without having to go out and spend money on buying scenic bases and stuff like that. So, uh, so just a neat little idea there. Um, now if you can obviously find it cheaper online, definitely go for it. But 75 is kind of the default price point. Um, but we'll kind of compare this when we get to the, um, the big box that, uh, the sector box, because that one definitely has a price, a hefty price tag. So let us know your thoughts so far. If you've picked up the kit, if you enjoy the buildings, um, how long did it take you to get the whole um, thing assembled and kind of any other things that you've done with um, with the kit so far, like the kit bashing that I mentioned or dressing up bases or whatnot. And, you know, if you've, are you sticking with purely GW terrain for your games or will you be delving into some of the other options out there? Like again, 3D printing or MDF. So just let us know in the comments, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. We'll have more Legions Imperials for you very, very soon.